I, I just interviewed Trey D. And, you know, I've brought up this point a lot, but I think that I want to keep bringing it up because it's in a very important, po- important uh, point. When Trey D was out there gangbanging, out there shooting people and doing a bunch of other shit, uh, he, he basically got caught slipping one day and one of his enemy, you know, an enemy gang member caught him and, and shot him in the back, collapsed his lung. We had a couple kids in the car and everything. My homie Rock, rest in peace, of Joshua Robinson. And um, we pulled up and I went in the store, but I didn't have the right amount of change to get what I wanted to get. So I walked back out and was getting the change from Rock. When I walked back, it just got some kind of like funny feeling. And um, I looked back at the dude and he was jacking off a little automatic weapon and he just started popping. So I was right in front of the car. So I ran away from the car, I ran back past him into the store. So I would draw the fire away from the kids. Mm. And he shot me in pass and shot me in the back. And when I asked him, what would you do if the dude that shot you sat down right here next to you and apologized? I open the door and I bring in this guy and I sit him down next to you and I'm like, this is the guy who shot you. Mm-hmm. And he looks at you and said, I'm sorry, man. I was tripping back then. I was gang banging. I was angry at the world. I had that happen. I'm, I'm older now. I got kids. I'm, I know who you are. I'm a fan of your music. My bad. What would you do? That's right, homie. What's your name? All right, for sure. For sure. I appreciate that, homie. Apology wasn't even necessary. We was living that life at the time. You know, ain't no thing, man. For sure. If that give you some kind of closure or whatever, that's cool. Solid. Wow. And you really mean that? No, oh, most definitely. I'm no longer in that mind state. Again, we're back to being in your head, in your mind. Yeah. So just because these guys are thinking one way today, you're, the mind can change in an instant. It all just depends on what it's presented with. You see what I'm saying? So there's nothing, there's no guarantee that 10 years, 20 years, it, five minutes from, I don't know. I'm just saying that these guys' minds could change. It is possible. And you never say never when certain things, you know, you see motherfuckers that was going to war to end up, you know, like a man and women that hated each other and they end up getting married years later or some shit like that. Shit happens. Like, you know what I mean? Like, shit happens. Yeah, like, for example, at one point, the the leader of the the PLO the Palestinian Palestinian Liberation Organization and the president of Israel uh, Rabin they went and shook hands after killing after their people were killing each other for decades for decades all you know brutal war from bombings to to snipering to this to that they went and shook hands. And I remember someone explained, like a like a history guy explained this all to me, that they were they both started to get older. They're both older, probably in their sixties at this point, and they came to the realization that if they were not going to do something, that this was going to keep going into their children and grandchildren's lives. They both had to sit there and put, and they hated each other. Like, they looked at each other as the devil. Like, you know, that's a demon in human flesh right there. And they sat there and they shook hands and they tried to work it out. And then uh, and then Rabin, the guy who, the, the Israeli guy who shook hands with them, ended up getting assassinated because of that. Because So if you're aware of stories like this, then stop being so pessimistic when it okay, comes fair to... Okay, It could happen. It could happen. Putting their shit to but, the side. But, but you know something... Another way to look at it is they don't have to come together and be friends. At one point, they could just stop addressing each other. When I brought up 50 Cent's name, Gotti could have been like, eh, no comment. You know, there are certain people that I have historically had issues with that I just stopped feeding into it. I don't think we'll ever be friends. I don't think we'll ever be cool. I don't think we'll ever have a conversation, me and, and these various people. But I just stopped mentioning them all together and they stopped mentioning me all together. And at this point, you know, 
this is why it's just whatever. We don't, you don't have to be friends with everybody. You don't have to be cool with but everybody. You don't have to be enemies ha- either. Like. You don't have to be enemies. I don't really feel like I have any enemies out there, any real enemies that are out there really trying to get me. And even if they are, I feel like, who cares? Keep trying. Keep, keep trying to tear me down or whatever. I don't care. I'm doing well. <laughs> I don't pay you any mind. If you think that I'm, I'm sitting there trying to retaliate against you, you're sadly mistaken. I don't care. I'm too busy. I'm working on my own shit. To worry about what the fuck you trying to do. It's a lot easier to work to work towards a positive direction than towards a negative. It takes a lot more effort to try to keep doing bad shit to people. Yeah. Yeah. So you never know. You know, maybe tomorrow morning we're gonna hear a song with Ja Rule and Fifty Cent on it, with Irv Gotti doing the doing the yeah, intro. The beat, yeah. And and Supreme doing the outro and Jimmy <laughs> J- Jimmy Henchman doing the bridge like you okay. know who the fuck knows and and Young Buck doing a little a little eight verse on there oh, and, and, and then we'll have Young cool. Supreme and Young Fifty on there too why not why not bring Throw them all, all together the, put them put them all together man fuck it yeah a bunch of bad shit happened people got hurt money got lost but everyone's doing cool still so yeah. I, I'm going to retract my never say never. It might happen. There you go. Thank you. It might happen. Thank you. Lord Jamar, always a pleasure. Yes, sir. V-Lad. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Until next time. Peace. Mm.